How much do you need to turn the front wheel of a car to make it follow a trajectory? Or move the elevator of a plane to achieve the required pitch angle? Or apply power to propellers to fly a drone or move a ship as you want? Or even regulate current in an electric motor to control a robotic arm? All of them are systems and they might be different but they can all be mathematically modeled and controlled using the same fundamental logic. My name is Mark, I'm an aerospace and robotics engineer and I want to teach you how to do it. After this course, you will know how to model a system using state space equations and then how to apply a PID and a model predictive controller or MPC to it. We'll first use PID to control a simple magnetic train that needs to catch objects that randomly fall from the sky. Then we'll use MPC to achieve a simple lane changing maneuver with a car on a straight road. For each system, there is a simulation in Python to create a bridge between intuition, mathematics and coding. Three skills that every engineer needs to have. The codes will be available for you to download and experiment with and I will explain to you the MPC code in a special section. When I teach, then my goal is to make you understand it fundamentally. If you memorize stuff, then you will forget it quickly. But if you understand it, it will stay with you for good. Only then you will be able to modify and apply this knowledge to other systems. I'll make sure that you will truly master the content. Before you buy, take a look at some of my free preview videos and if you like what you see, enroll in the course and let's get started. Looking forward to seeing you there. Welcome to the course Applied Control Systems 1 Autonomous Cars Math plus PID plus MPC. Thank you so much for enrolling. This is the first part of this three part control system series. The main goal of this course is to teach you one of the most powerful control algorithms out there called Model Predictive Control or MPC and apply it to an autonomous vehicle that will enable the car autonomously change lanes on a straight road. That's called lateral control and you will learn everything you need to know about it from intuition to mathematical implementation. That will be in sections 2 to 6. In section 7 I will also explain to you how I implemented all that in Python. I've also created some animations for these Python simulations. Knowing how to animate in Python it's a topic on its own and it is covered in this course. Python engineering animations bring math and data to life. That course covers everything you need to know about how to create engineering animations in Python. In order to make sure that everybody, including people who have never been exposed to control systems, could follow this course, the first section will be a control systems crash course from the beginning. It will teach you the basics of control systems and a simpler but a very popular controller called PID. We will use very simple models for a water tank and a magnetic train to learn all that. That will get everybody to the required level in order to follow the rest of the course. And then in the next part of this control system series we will make our MPC controller more advanced. Next to lateral control it will also control the car longitudinally. In the end the vehicle will be able to track a general trajectory on a 2D plane. Finally in the third and last part we will apply all this knowledge to a completely different system, a UAV drone. And then you will see that what you are learning here is universal. And of course you will learn even more stuff there like 3D dynamics and another popular controller called feedback linearization. Here are some extra recommendations for this course. It is very important that you follow the material from start to finish without skipping any steps. New knowledge is very often built on older knowledge and so if you follow this course in a logical order then you won't have any problems understanding the concepts that I want to teach you. 
Also, I tend to give you mini exercises throughout the course. In the end of a video, I might ask you a question or I might give you a small problem to solve and then you would see the solutions in the next video. I highly recommend you to try solving it first before watching the next video. That way you will understand and solidify the material much better. Finally, if you find that the pace of videos is a bit too slow for you, then just try watching it at 1.25 speed. So that's the plan for this course. Thank you very much.